Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our XUnit with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about the auto fixtures, other options, like more advanced option than what we saw in our earlier video. So we saw that we could able to use an inbuilt types like string mail address to get the email address if you really wanted to like that. Those things are okay, but if probably let's say I want to use our own type, like our own models that I have created, probably then how do I actually use that? For example, if for my register, I have something like an um, register a user model, something like that in C sharp. Uh, and if I want to use this particular model within my code uh, for data generation, then I should potentially use that as well. So probably I'm going to say uh, that I'm going to have a name and I'm going to have a password and then I'm gonna have uh, confirm password which is gonna be C password and then I'm gonna have uh, what is called as an email so something like that so if I have this kind of uh, a type uh, then how can I use it with my auto fixture data that I have created so for doing that I'm just gonna copy this test code I'm gonna paste it over here instead of this auto fixture um, I'm gonna say with um, with type and within over here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of all these codes that I have written instead of using the string type I'm actually gonna use our own register user model this time so having this register user model by our own, we can have our own strongly type operation, something like these. So I can call the username dot name, username, uh, and then not username. Basically, this can be a uh, register or probably model like that. And then I can say model dot name. Similarly, I can say model dot password, and I can say model dot uh, c password which is for the confirm password and then model dot email for the email address so you can see that using this i could even further reduce the uh, flakiness of the code instead of having multiple fixture dot create of different types i can just do this i mean i'm trying to do even more better this time i'm just calling a registry user model and then i'm passing in uh, these types and then i'm trying to perform the operation so let's see how this code is actually going to work so basically this create is going to create or assign the values for all the different properties within that particular class file and then you can see that it is going to work pretty much exactly the same way like how it actually worked with our normal types so it went to that particular class to the register user model and then it saw all the property and then the auto fixture automatically populated all the different properties with the data that it requires to populate and then it fills up the data and then that's it it's working so this is how we could actually uh, make sure that we could able to use uh, our own model for generating the data over here. And we can also use some sort of uh, builder patterns of the fixtures to perform certain actions. For example, in this email, as you can see, we have this uh, email which it generates is not something which we quite like it. So probably in this case, we could use the uh, the builder model for uh, so in order to do that all you need to do is like let's go over here so i'm gonna call this as uh, var fixture uh, probably is equal to new fixture like that uh, and this new fixture i'm just gonna use it over here but instead i'm just gonna say a fixture dot and there is something called as build method and where within this build method, I can just call our register user model. This is going to be pretty much exactly the same. But this time, I'm just going to use uh, a without property or without method for a specific property that I don't want it to be generating the value for me. For example, the email. I don't definitely want this to be generated automatically uh, using this guy. So I can do that. 
And once this is done, I need to then create, because you can see there is a scrolly line coming here. So I need to call the create method of the uh, the builder pattern to create the rest of thing. So now what will happen is if I try doing a debug this time, you will see that except the email options, uh, it is going to create the data for the rest of the uh, types within the registry user model uh, class file. So let's see, I have put a breakpoint there. So it is going to execute everything for us. And now let's see the email. And you can see for the model email, uh, we don't, shouldn't be having any value there. Okay, it's taking some time. Oops, that's bad. Um, let's go over here, let's go to the model. And you can see that the email value is a null because it has not assigned any value for the email. So we could uh, do uh, something else as well like uh, if I don't want to have this email then what what value should I uh, should I need uh, it to have so I can do with something like this where I can say I I want this to be in a different fashion so with email address to be of uh, some value is equal to something like a EA or something like Karthik at ea.com something like that uh, so now if I try debugging this one so I could able to set the value something like this so this is how we could able to use the builder patterns of the um, of the auto fixture to create our own uh, properties and values uh, for these types and then we can try running them so that's it guys this is how we can work with the auto fixture but I mean the auto fixture is like a big tool there are so many things that we could discuss but I'm not going to be discussing all these things in this particular video but yes this is about auto fixture and this is how we could be able to use it in combination with the X unit with selenium that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video hopefully we'll add more video in this series thank you